Hi, welcome to Figma Friday number four. In this video, I'll tell you the difference between groups and frames and when it is best to use each one. So let's get started. Um, so if you're coming from Photoshop or Illustrator, uh, you may be familiar with uh, generally groups. And if you're coming from Sketch, you'll be familiar with the concept of artboards, uh, which carries over into Figma as frames. Uh, so in Figma, uh, if I switch to the frame tool, uh, one of the main things is that I can draw a frame to any size and think of this as sort of a new working space where you can drop components and things into. Uh, now a group I can't draw uh, unless I have some objects. So let, let's use this as an example. I have a button uh, which I'll duplicate and I can just drag in, uh, right into my frame and Figma will auto nest objects uh, into my frame. Now once I have these objects within the frame I can move them around together so they are sort of grouped in a way uh, but the um, uh, kind of the superpower that frames have is that I can do these constraints and resizing settings uh, for any objects within a frame. So for example this button I can pin it to the top and center and this one I can pin it to the bottom and center align and then when I resize my frame or my layout like this the buttons or components inside they they follow that uh, those pinning guidelines now if I have the same thing anywhere else it could be outside or within a frame and I group these two objects with control G so now both of these are in a frame so number one uh, both of these are in a group so number one I can't uh, change the background of a group like I can with the frame here uh, so that's one difference and number two now if you notice uh, when I have the group selected I don't have the constraint and resizing settings in the properties panel and when I go to resize this group like this it actually scales uh, any object within the group um, without any kind of pinning settings so uh, and I can have groups within a frame and then I can set my uh, constraints to this group and now when I resize the frame it follows uh, the pinning settings that I have for that group so basically to summarize think of frames as a new kind of uh, work environment where you can create your uh, layouts for your design and then groups as sort of a quick shortcut for uh, grouping multiple objects together so then you can quickly select them with one click or when you want to rescale them like this without any constraints um, layout constraints applied to the objects so that's all for this video. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions about it, and I'll see you in the next one.